everybody. How's it going? Really, really excited to see everyone tonight. Super. Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Really, really excited to see everyone tonight. Super, super, super excited. I just have to shut off my Skype really quick. Looks like somebody's Skyping me. One sec. Uh, shut this off. All right. All right. So cool. So I invited everybody here tonight because I have been busy, 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 busy at work, working on my new MLSP site. And I wanted to share with you guys um, basically the ins and outs, what you know, give you guys an idea of how easily this can be for you to set up. So I'm not, I'm not going to recommend you do this, but I didn't watch training videos. So everybody's like, oh my gosh, your blog. And I didn't even watch the training videos. Now I do have over five years of WordPress experience. So it wasn't like, you know, I went in there like completely blind. I went in there and I just started toying around and was able to, to create something pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what I created. I'm going to show you how you can create it. I'm also going to take questions tonight. So if you have questions, um, if I could show you something that maybe you're stuck on, if you already do have your MLSP site set up or you're starting to work on it or something like that, I'll, I'll be happy to stick around and do that. I'm also going to go over some bonuses that I put together that I emailed out to everyone today. If you're on my list, you should have got that email. I sent out a broadcast earlier today and I sent out actually two because there's actually uh, there was some big news that was actually released earlier today. Brian Finale told me that people that were inactive, if you're an inactive MLSP member, or if you have any, if you guys are here right now and you have any inactive MLSP members, you can actually, um, they can actually sign up for the ultimate blogging bonus and get 30 days free. So they can reactivate their account for free. So that's pretty exciting too. All right. So I'm just gonna really quick uh, welcome everyone. I like to kind of mention people by name and just say what's up and say hi to everyone. Okay, awesome, Amanda. Hey, girl. Actually, Amanda, um, I might, if you don't mind, just put it in the chat. I might have you come out and just share your blog because I saw it today. It looked so awesome, and um, I definitely want to do a little show and tell today tonight. Um, Denlin Blake. Hey, what's going on, Ted Car Caroluse? Uh, Victor Corville. Hey, Victor. It's been a while. Monica Delgado, Goran Idstrom. Um, Goran, hey, how's it going? I did get your email today. I will email you back soon. Diana Fitzgerald. Hey, girl. Linda Flint. Lisa Frazier. Hey, Lisa. Uh, Timothy Greenwald. Hey, buddy. Jamie Herrick. Sean. I think I need glasses. <laughs> like, I have to look. Um, sh sh let's see. Sherry Lowry. Sean. Keezer, if I, if I don't say your last name right, just forgive me because I'm really bad sometimes. Um, Richard, I'm not going to try. Um, <laughs> you know who you are. Tammy, Raziki, Razig, I think. Uh, Mark S., Don Selick, Debbie Stone, and so many more. Quantella, hey. Gregory, Gregory Smith, I can do Gregory. That's easy. All right, so uh, very, very excited. I see a lot of people are on and more people are coming on as we speak, so it's pretty awesome. Um, Amanda, you don't necessarily have to come out, but maybe, um, you know, you, you know, if you want to come out with no video or whatever, that'd be cool. Because I just, if anybody else has got an MLSP site too, um, maybe we'll do a little show and tell later. And uh, sure, I would like to just show people what's possible because I think sometimes people see me as a leader and they're like, oh, April, you know, it's nothing for her to do something like that. You know, it's just, you know, April, you know, she's like superstar and she can just do it anytime. But when other people do it, sometimes it just gives people a little um, inspiration because they're like, oh, there are other people are doing it too. So um, I am all about inspiring people. That is for sure. So um, where should I begin? I'm trying to think. Let me just start with, um, let me just start with really quick the bonuses that I have the uh, ultimate blog bundle, all that stuff. I'm going to actually kind of do it reverse. Usually I do training first and then I share stuff like that. But I'm going to do reverse while I have all of you on. And um, then we'll get into the ins and outs and looking at what all is included and all that good stuff and how to actually set up your own blog. How's that sound? Good? I hope so because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> all right, cool. So, okay, Kaiser. Okay, gotcha. See, I don't, I shouldn't even try, I, I swear. Hey, Jeffrey Kistner, how are you? Let's see. He's only in the same house as me. 
<laughs> Say hi to my partner, Jeffrey Kistner, everyone. Say hi to Jeff. Say hi to Jeff. He's the one who brought me into this industry, so you better give him a, a big hello. All right. So I hope you guys can see my screen okay. Um, okay, so we've been, like, rapping about, or I've been rapping about the Three Minute Expert all since last week. And we've been talking a lot about what it is. Um, obviously, if you're in the middle of the movie right now and you're just coming in and it's like you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, um, you know, that's going to be hard, harder for you. So if you, if you, I will for sure make sure everybody has a replay before we leave. If anybody needs it, you can always email me too or message me of um, last week's webinar. It was really awesome. There was a lot of value shared, but it also reveals um, more about the three minute expert. So today, the there was a special offer for inactive people that have been inactive or were previous. MLSP members and have inactive accounts that are that were more than 30 days old ago obviously so if you if you are one of those people it's just the same thing you just check the same box and you get the 30 days free okay if you are never been a part of MLSP ever then you would just you could still get the just check the box and so it's included this is a huge huge bundle package and I'm just gonna really quick briefly go over it because we don't have too much time tonight but Basically, what it is, is if, if most people know who Ray, hey, Ray Higdon is, I don't think I need to give him an introduction, but he's a seven-figure earner, and he's done this um, through blogging. So he's made millions of dollars through blogging, and this is his course. This is basically his blueprint, uh, his um, blueprint to success through blogging. So he's giving you all of the information that you need to get started with blogging. Everything you need to know if you're even like me and you um, are more advanced, you know, everything, all his secret techniques and all of that good stuff is all included. Um, I actually did a training the other day just showing what all, I think it's easier for me to just go in actually at this point and just show you guys what you get because it's just, um, you, you can't really see it until you actually see it, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to really quick just go ahead and log in and just show you guys what you get with the Three Minute Expert. Now there is quite a few modules here. Uh, actually, there's I think there's 20 modules. And not everything is even back here yet. So 20 modules. So you're going to learn how to, how to effectively use the course, why blogging, set up your webmaster tools in Google Analytics, three biggest obstacles, how to define your target market. Um, watch this if you are a perfectionist, basic blog monetization strategies, content creation, pre-blog research, and on-page SEO. So he's even going to go over SEO in here. Uh, where to post your blog to get massive traffic, how to email your list and what not to do, how to get, you know, and a lot of times this is where I find people don't um, they, they don't thrive here and this is a good one right here I just got to point that out because I see so many people come into this industry and they don't they they do all the content and they do all the marketing but then they don't do this they don't email their list and guess what that's the the biggest money making activity that you could possibly be doing besides you know everything else but I mean this is like the biggest one right there how to get more engagement and interaction, the most important part of your blog, how to add an opt-in form to your blog, how to generate more leads, how to communicate with your leads, how to use other people's content legally and effectively, blog design question, suggestions, suggestions for truly becoming the go-to expert in your marketplace, and my seven-figure overview, what we sold and how we sold to get over $1 million in re revenue. So that's all of that. And then my, the reason, so let me just back up really quick because for those of you that don't know, this is my third time owning this this particular product. All these modules, I already have it. This is the third time. All right, the reason why I bought it, again, was because the the bonuses were just too good to, to pass up. And not all of them have even been added here yet. We still have some um, live webinars that are going to be added. There's a private Facebook group. There's going to be a blitz that's going to happen. So basically, we're going to be like challenging and running together. But you get all of these bonuses as well. Unlimited content ideas and money-making opportunities, 30 sample blog titles, how to create high-quality images, 10 best ideas for content, the six absolute keys to being consistent. Um, these are all these blog reviews that he did. There's 10 of them. So he reviewed 10 people's blog, or I'm sure there's a lot more than that. I haven't even watched the, this part yet. Um, question and answer series. Here's a whole bunch of question and answer series that um, were done live, I'm sure. Six of them. You get also those. 
creating ads, audiences, and pixels. So for those of you that are wanting to, you know, do Facebook ads and Google and all kinds of stuff, so he, I mean, this is there's good stuff in here. Facebook custom audiences, recommended tools, creating Google remarking pixels. So that's all added as well. Um, there's some tools in here that are also there. So there's just so much here, you know, and, and this is the way I look at it. Now, some people might look at this and say, oh my gosh, it's a lot of training. Well, I don't, I don't show you this to overwhelm you. Just keep in mind that this is a course. So, you know, plan on going through it for a while. You know, I don't see anybody going through a college course and it only taken a weekend. You know, it, it just doesn't take that long. So plan on being in this, I mean, to be able to learn all of this and actually, really learn it you know I mean sometimes I have to watch things a couple of times before it really sinks in I'm just one of those types of people so just plan on that okay really plan on uh, you know really having to take some time and going through this and implementing and and I would honestly like if you really want to get good at something you have to do it that's the way I get good at stuff is I just repetitively do that do things I learn it I learn something, I implement it, and then I do it over and over again until I become really good at it. And I keep improving by adding adding more knowledge and you know, learning more things. So you always want to be learning. You always should be learning. It's, it's part of um, growing, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to check on you guys, make sure I'm not uh, losing anybody here. All right, cool. Looks like you guys can never see everything. All right, so earlier today I, I launched some bonuses I wasn't gonna do this honestly I really wasn't but there is an affiliate contest I'm gonna be honest with you and I didn't I was kind of by accident at first I wasn't I was like yeah of course I'm gonna email my list and then um, I ended up placing like sixth place or something like that and I'm still in sixth place but you know of course I don't want to be in sixth. if I'm gonna be in a contest I gotta be higher than that so I decided to throw together some quick bonuses um, one, you know, some of you guys might already have, I have a, a pre-recorded live Instagram training that I did with Mr. Ray Higdon himself, uh, and actually a small group of his students. And he let me have the recording so that I could use it as a bonus for things like this. And how awesome is it that it's actually with Ray? <laughs> huh? That's pretty cool. So I figured that this is definitely the bonus for this particular course and, and it is a great bonus because I actually just go through the nuts and bolts it's a quick training it's not like my course but it's a quick training I give you the nuts and bolts of what you need to be doing on Instagram to be getting results and I was actually I, I wouldn't say I'm the person that took him you know from 2000 to 10k because obviously Ray did that but I did um, give him give him some information that helped him um, definitely drastically increase his followers and also make some sales and get going over there on Instagram. So you will actually get access to that, but you will have to, if you purchase through me, and I'm gonna give you a link to purchase here in a few, but if you purchase the Ultimate Blog Bundle, you actually get it, you will get that from me, but you have to email me, april at aprilmarietucker.com, and in the subject line, just put bonuses. Now, I had somebody email me earlier, and I, I mean, you really, you have to buy through my link. If you're on somebody else's team in MLSP, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. You know, that's not going to, it's not going to work out. I want it to, but it's not going to, unfortunately. Um, but if you're not on, if you're not an MLSP or you're inactive in MLS, uh, and you're, if you're an inactive member on my MLSP team, then this will definitely work for you. If you are on my MLSP team now, this is um, available to you as well. So I just highly recommend just email me otherwise I'm because I'm not gonna send this out like go through all my I mean a lot of people purchase and it's a lot for me to have to go through and email everybody this so I I'm just like those of you that really want it email me and just put bonuses in the subject line and once again that's April at aprilmarietucker.com um, you also are gonna get four 30-minute one-on-one coaching sessions with me and initially I was only going to do two because I already give you two um, to, if you're an MLSP member on my team, you already get two every month. So um, you actually are gonna get four for two months in a row, basically. Or if you wanna spread it out, it's up to you. You can use it whenever you want. They're, they're little coupons. I'll keep track and make sure that you, you, get, you get what I owe you. But you get four 30-minute one-on-one coaching sessions. That's basically two hours of hand-holding and coaching on whatever you want. Um, it could be Instagram. It could be, you know, you want to learn how to brand yourself. It could be, 
you know, you need mindset. I mean, whatever it is that you want, we, we can talk about if you've been doing this a while or if you're just getting started, I can help you either way because I'm, you know, I'm, I make five figures per month. I'm six figure earner in the industry and I'm pretty well known. So I, I can, I can definitely help you with whatever it is that you need. And then also live weekly hangouts during the blog blitz, which I, I've just decided to do actually today. I wasn't going to, but I've got so much knowledge um, after setting up my own blog that I really want to make sure that everybody on our team really has, I, I want them to have a, 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 an amazing blog that they're completely proud of. So for me, I was like, you know what? It wouldn't be fair. I need to definitely be doing some, you know, group coaching, showing you guys how to make banners, showing you guys how to do content and filling in any gaps, you know, as far as the training you get. I've just always noticed just from the last five years, I've been coaching people online and I've just always noticed that it always helps to have somebody that can answer your questions live, you know, a real person that's, you know, actually there helping you. <laughs> um, and it just, it makes the world a, a world of a difference. So we're also going to be doing that. And I have been blogging for the last five years. Like I said before, I have had my, my traffic up to 30,000 unique visitors every month previous to this year before I had, I should say, I should call it like something <laughs> previous to when my blog was shut down earlier this year, I, I had a huge problem. I was hacked and had lost all my traffic. But before that I was, um, and I mean, obviously that's not my fault, like being hacked. The only thing that's my fault is I didn't have good enough, um, security on my blog, I guess, but apparently everybody had an issue with WordPress at that time. So of course, you know, knowing that, you know, and I've had a blog for the last five years and I've, I've done, I've actually been in the top, um, top five bloggers in our whole industry in contests and, and so much other things okay so knowing that you're gonna be in good hands let me just say that and last by joining with the 30 days of mastery um, you're gonna get free mastery but you're also going to get the VIP perks that all of my teammates get um, like I was sharing with you before I, I do one-on-one -on -one, um, bi-weekly coaching sessions they're ongoing too that's worth the price of your membership uh, like three times if 149 I'm, I'm not kidding you some of the stuff that I go through and anybody that's on my team and they know they get on the phone with me and we do these coaching sessions some of us some of them do it every every other week I even do some with others every week so um, they know it's pretty it's it's golden you know to, to have somebody that you can actually talk to who gets it somebody who can help you with whatever you need and take you to that next level it's huge um, access to all my team resources, guys. I have over five years of resources. I, like I said, I've, this isn't my first band camp. I've been doing this for five years. I've got, um, the same Facebook group that we've had the same one for five years there. I have content galore. I mean, I, I'm not telling you to go through it all either. Cause I'm like, well, gee, I wouldn't want to go through it all, but I'm just saying, I got you there. Trust me. I got you. Um, free eBooks. I've got some free eBooks. Crush it. Changed my life. Crush it by Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, actually got me to start doing my very first videos. That is one of the resources, um, that I, I include as one of my free eBooks. Um, think and grow rich. There's, um, ask and it's given. There's quite a few. My personal video training on SEO, social media, blogging, and more. Some of it is in the back office, and some of it is in our um, MLSP Mastermind group, which we will we'll actually go check that out here in a second. Um, weekly group um, coaching or strategy sessions. And actually, I just actually bumped that to bi-weekly because I'm going to do more stuff like what I'm doing tonight where I'm inviting the, the whole world, you know, inviting our whole industry. So we're doing bi-weekly at this point just because that's a lot of training that you guys are already getting with MLSP. And I get that. And we've, we, we are just testing this at this moment. Um, but we're doing bi-weekly and they are jam packed. That's where you get the hand holding. That's where you come on and you can ask me questions. I can pop, you know, I can share my screen with you. I can help you fix things. If something's broken, whatever we do it there. That's, that's the cool thing about that. Um, unlimited support. You will have access to my, my MLSP mastermind group. Like I said, that's been around for over five years now and it's not going anywhere. We've got amazing leaders in that group. It is an 
only if you are on our team group, okay? So I'm very protective of that group. I only allow people that are active and are on our team. Like I actually will go through monthly and actually remove people that are inactive from our group. I, I don't just allow anyone in there. Why? Because it's that valuable. It's super valuable. What, what I put in there, the content that I share in there, um, the file tab is, is full of stuff, you know, it's just full of information and stuff. And I just don't share that with anybody. It's, it's proprietary information, if you want to call it that. And it's, it's for our team. That's what it's for. Um, content syndication tribe. We also have a content syndication tribe and actually we are, I'm going to start getting it going again. I haven't really been as active as I should be just because my blog was shut down earlier this year. But now that we are doing the blog blitz, we're doing the, um, we, we have the three minute expert. And now that I have a new blog, cause I'm actually really excited cause I kind of get to start over. I'm going to be doing a lot on that blog now too. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be sharing a lot of content, so we're going to be getting that, that group going again, especially for this blitz. I will be putting together, um, I have some activity trackers and content sheets and all kinds of stuff, so I will be putting that all together, and um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and show you guys the files tab. Actually, if you are on our team now and you're in this group, you can go ahead and grab it. There's an a content planner and activity tracker back here. This is perfect for blogging, um, and you'll have access to this, guys, but we'll go over that on our first session. We'll probably, let's see, we're not going to start this week, but next week, next Tuesday, we'll start. And um, we will be going over the, you know, basically how the blitz is going to go. Um, you know, the, it's going to be a challenge for us, and our team is definitely going to be challenging. And um, how to do use this monthly content planner, how to use the daily method of op operation sheet, um, the productivity and progress worksheet, um, content ideas, and all that stuff. So this is to help you. This is to help give you kind of even a guideline. I also, um, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff on blogging. In fact, I even have a blogging course. So um, I have a blog and video course, so I trust me, I and mean, I know what I'm talking about here when it comes to, you know, getting all this, um, getting you guys all on track. I've, I've taught blogging for years now, so we'll, we'll definitely be, we'll be, we'll be in synergy, let's just put it that way. I, Michael shared that word with me today, and it just so fits with my, with my day today. Everything is just in synergy, so I'm really excited about that. And then, of course, you have all this content that's back here as well. So I just wanted to show you that, and you have a whole team of people that are here to help you and help grow, help you grow, and all that good stuff as well, so pretty awesome. All right, so let me just really quick check on you guys, make sure everything's good over here. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, dedicated. Will I get this? Yes, um, you are on the team, Tom. I will add you into the group. So let's do that. Uh, make sure everybody's doing. I'm going to turn on the Q&A. So go ahead as I'm going. Just go ahead. I know sometimes you just think of a question and you want to put it in, you know. Hey, Cliff Evans, buddy, how are you doing? All right, cool. And everybody said hi to Jeff. Thank you. All right, so let's go on and just go ahead and dive into the blog. I'm going to show you what I've put together and show you what's possible. Let me really quick get everybody a link. Anybody that is ready to take action while I'm going through this, you can go ahead and do that now. Um, really simple. I actually pretty linked it. AprilMarieTucker.com forward slash UBB for Ultimate Blog Bundle. And if you go there, you can check the box, get your free MLSP Mastery account. Like I said, if you are already in Mastery, if you're already in MLSP before and you're on our team, then, of course, you can just check the box and you'll be good to go on that, too. So it's actually cheaper than Mastery if you did the 3Pay, if you think about it. All right, so let's do this. Let's go to Screen Share. Screen Share. All right, um, let me just pull up my blog really quick here so I can show you what I did and show you, and then I'll also go on the back office here and show you kind of how, how to put it together. Because Okay, so, so apparently this is the more complicated theme. I don't know. It wasn't, to me, I mean, when I first looked at it, I was like, well, this is foreign because it's got this thing, it's called Divi Builder in the back. And um, at first I was, I've never seen Divi Builder before. I've never used anything like it. Um, well, I take that back. I've used, 
Optimize Press, which is kind of, when you're putting together one of their capture page, kind of similar. So I, I at first was like, whoa, this is complicated. But once I started getting in and I started going through it, I was like, wow, this is kind of actually easy. Um, in fact, it's really easy to modify. So you think that this is really hard and stuff. It's not. I did this banner myself, and I put together um, – this is actually already back there. You can just go ahead and create it. You can add content to right here. This is – I just put my free offer here. Um, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own banner. I don't use Canva. I use PowerPoint. Um, it's hopefully everybody's got PowerPoint here. I think most people do. If they don't, um, if you're using a Mac, I think there's one that Mac uses. You can probably do the similar things. Um, and I'll show you guys how to create these banners. Not, not now, but in the, you know, if you join the blog blitz with us and all that stuff, we'll, we'll be showing you guys how to do stuff like this. All right. Um, I put this banner right here actually on today. It was a couple of clicks. I'll show you how easy it is. I'm telling you this stuff is easy stuff. Um, I, the only thing that I did have a, I did, I had to play a little bit, but I did finally figure it out was the videos. I couldn't get the videos to add and then finally I got it. It's just a code box. I just was putting it in the wrong box. Once I got the right box, it was easy. Um, and then this is all my blog content in the bottom here. And this is like, I'm only just showing my first three posts or my last three posts, I should say. And right now I only have three posts on here. I just wanted to fill it out. And I haven't done very much on this blog except for create it because I just started actually putting it together. Um, when did I start putting this together? Sun Saturday, maybe? Saturday, I think. I don't remember. I think it was Saturday. Um, so this is my blog tab. Obviously, I'm going to have more tabs. When you have a blog, you should. I, the tabs that I recommend having are, you know, having a work with page. Have an, um, if you do coaching, then you can have a coaching page. Um, I have my blog here at home. You should also have an about me page. I don't have one right now because I'm redoing mine right now, but you can have an about me page as well. And that's pretty much it. So I still have to fill out some pages on, on my new blog, which will take me a little bit of time because I want to start. I want to, I'm not going to just copy all the information I have on my other blog over. I'm going to start, you know, recreating this brand new blog. I mean, it's a brand new blog, so I'm really excited about it. And I'll be putting a lot of content on this blog and doing a lot on this blog because in my old blog, let's just put it this way. I had some, when I, when I lost all my traffic earlier this year, it, it kind of hurt it. You know, I still have some power. I still have some, I have a page rank of one or something like that. I have, a, I guess, a little power, but I lost a lot. So I'm definitely excited about starting over and starting a brand new blog with MLSP sites. Plus with MLSP sites, you know, you've got, awesome hosting so it's super fast and you got all the cool plugins which I'm going to actually show you so this is the dashboard of your your blog when you get started or if you're already in you guys will have a dashboard it's a WordPress that's exactly what it is it's WordPress it's not um let me make sure everybody's seeing me okay yep okay good I don't have anybody on with me that's why I usually like to have people on <laughs> okay um so it's just basic it's a WordPress except you got different themes I'm using the Divi theme like I said before, it's they say it's more complicated, but like I said, it, it's, it looks more complicated than it actually is. So I'm going to show you kind of how you can get started with it. Um, let me just really quick go over to MLSP sites and um, show you guys over there too, just so you guys know um, MLSP has your back, so you don't have to know all this stuff. By the way, this is just a warning message for people that might be getting an error. This isn't an error on my end. Um, but this is the training portal, okay? So everything is back here. Everything you need to know about blogging. You don't have to be like me. I've been five years blogging. I admit that openly. I'm proud of that. You know what? It's been a journey and it's been an uphill journey. That is for sure. But you do not have to be a blogging enthusiast or know anything. You can absolutely, you can come in here and know zero about blogging and be okay. You're going to do just fine. So let me just kind of backtrack too, just to share with you my story back in 2010 when I started in this industry. I started with the basic skills of copy and paste. I was a single mom. I dropped out of high school twice, and I was pregnant at the age of 70, 17. I have a general education diploma. I was cocktail waitressing when, I, when this industry actually found me, and I was working a graveyard. I worked 10-hour graveyard shifts, okay? So when I started with MLSP, 
And they said, now go and search your URL. I said, what the heck is a URL? Okay. Um, what was YouTube? I didn't know what YouTube was. I remember when my good friend Nate Holland, and he was actually been on, he was actually in my, on my MLSP team, so it was kind of embarrassing, said, hey, you know, April, you should really think about getting a blog. And I was like, hmm, I don't know what that is. I didn't say that, but so I went and I asked Google, what is a blog? That was exactly what I typed into the search engine because, guys, I had no idea. Five years ago, I had no idea what a blog was, and Jeffrey, if he's still on, he can, attest, he can testify to that. So I didn't know what Twitter was. I didn't know what YouTube was. I didn't know what a blog was. I knew sort of what Facebook was, but I wasn't on Facebook. <laughs> um, I actually started with Facebook. So for my first three months of getting started online, I just only stuck on, was on Facebook, just pr producing video content. And then I discovered blogging. And that was only because somebody had suggested I should start blogging. And I said, okay, Google, what's a blog? And then I was like, oh, you know what? You're right. I should start blogging. So guess what I did? I, and we had blog training back then, five years ago. Um, I went into MLSP and I learned how to set up this blog right here. This is the blog that I set up. Now this blog looks a lot different than, this was professionally designed. I spent thousands of dollars on this blog to have it done. My previous blog, if you were to look at it, I, I, I put a $50 little, I paid someone 50 bucks to slap a header on it for me. And I just started blogging and I started failing forward. That's what I did. I started failing forward. And within a, actually like that, I think it was like a year later, I became one of the top bloggers in the industry and I was blogging like a crazy person. Actually, I really enjoyed blogging. So um, that's, that's where I started. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not a genius. I'm I'm good at figuring stuff out. I will say that I'm not I'm not a stupid person by any means, but I am not somebody who knew any what any of this was when I started. So a lot of times I look at people and they say, "Well, I don't know, April. You know, because I don't know if I can do this because I don't know anything about this." And I said, "Well, do you know what Twitter is? Yeah. Do you know what a blog is? Kinda." Oh, well, you're a lot further ahead than I was because I didn't know what any of this stuff was when I started. So as far as knowing what all you need, this is all here. And this is not for you to be like, I'm going to watch all these videos today. That doesn't work that way. You're going to start with one video and you're going to do one video at a time. And these videos are actually just um, like beginning videos, like if you're a complete brand new newbie, they're just like two to three minute little videos that you can watch so you know what a dashboard is, so you know what an admin bar, a quick draft, you know, and all this stuff is. This is all here for you. I've actually never seen anything like this in my, in my entire five years online, over five years online. This is, you guys, this is amazing. What, when I logged in here, my jaw dropped. I couldn't believe, I was like, this is, for me being a leader and trying to, in, in actually working with people and trying to duplicate blogging for the last five years, this is my dream come true. I'm not kidding you. That's how amazing this is. And I say this with, I, I don't even know, I'm just so excited about it because I know that this is going to help so many people. So if you are in MLSP or if you're thinking about it right now or whatever, help us help other people by getting this into as many hands of home business entrepreneurs as we possibly can. You guys, one thing that you need to know and why you should be blogging, blogging is what is going to set you apart. This is what's going to um, set you apart from everybody else out there. Most people online are just spamming, you know, putting up content, not even putting up content, just putting their links everywhere. You know, they're, they're definitely doing it the wrong way. And if you really want people to work with you, they have to like, know, and trust you. And one of the fastest ways for you to get them and be, for you to become credible in their eyes is for you to set up a blog. Everybody here should have a blog. Every one of you, I don't care if you're not a home business or if you don't plan on being online, I don't care what it is. If you're just an, if you're a belly to belly networker, 
you should have a blog. Doesn't mean you have to blog on it every day, but you should have one. In my opinion, you should, because you should have your, your stake of real estate on the web. You should have somewhere that even you could, you, you could put on your business card, and when you're handing out a business card, you can say, you know, if you would like to learn more about me, feel free to check out my blog. That is your central hub piece of real estate on the web. That's where people need to be able to go and identify with who you are. And that is, I'm telling you, going to serve you in so many ways than you even realize. And that is why I have a blog, and that's why most of the, actually, I don't know any industry leader anyways, top earner that doesn't have some type of blog. So that's why we all have blogs. It's, it's not because it's like the thing to do. It's like the, the hot thing now. It's, it's because everybody needs one if they want to really become successful online. That's why. Not even online, just successful as a professional. How's that? Okay. So this is pretty simple. I mean, there's, you know, you can move your, if you already have a blog, by the way, you can move it to MLSP sites because there's a lot of plugins. There's a lot of cool features that you get with um, MLSP sites that would cost you a lot of money if you went out and bought all these cool plugins and the, even just the, the hosting, the hosting itself is very expensive. So I right now pay hundred dollars a month for this blog and just this blog only. So I, I can only imagine what MLSP's blog, blog or hosting bill is. I think when we talked to them, um, it was like something crazy, like in the, in the five figures per month. Okay. That's what their hosting bill was. When I, when I spoke to Jim about this and Todd actually was, we we're having a conversation when we went to the mastermind retreat. So pretty crazy. It can get kind of crazy. And that means that you have access to the best hosting that there is, right? So that's pretty awesome, and you don't have to pay a huge amount of money. That's MLSP's bill, <laughs> you know, not your bill. So it's pretty awesome. So you got a couple of themes here that you can choose from. You can choose from the Divi. You can choose from MLSP Simple, Flex Pro, Streamline Pro Theme. Um, I don't want you to get afraid because in here it says Divi is like hard to set up or something. Okay. It says more advanced, you know, it's, it is very advanced. It says that right here. You know what? Advanced meaning there's a lot of moving pieces. There's things that you can do with this blog. I haven't even scratched the surface. I'm sure I know there's things that this blog can do that I don't even know about. However, it does not mean that it's too hard, and so that's what I'm going to actually show you, um, or that it's too advanced for you if you're a new person. Depending on where you, what you want on your blog, I, I mean, you can, here's the way I look at it. If you set up your blog now with an MLSP Simple, okay, or a Flex Pro, or a Streamline Pro theme, or whatever, okay, and you decide to change your mind, you're going to have to redo that whole blog. Like you're not going to be able to go to Divi later, so you know you can you can you know buckle down and and venture in if you want, or you can start with one of these. So it's it's kind of that's the way I looked at it too. I was like, all right, I could say, or right, you know, I could let that it's too advanced scare me, or I could come in here and I could say, you know, I'm going to pick out Flex Pro and then decide I don't like it and change it later. Um, because I want more, you know, more functionality and more features with my blog. So I just decided to go the, well, the road less traveled. Okay, we'll just call it that. And I set up a Divi theme. And, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. In fact, like I said earlier, I didn't watch the videos. <laughs> but I do have I do have WordPress experience. So let me just really quick show you some of the, the plugins that you get here, I don't even know what some of them are, so I'm not even going to pretend to know because some of these plugins I've never even heard of. Um, not a bad thing. I know that there's a lot of cool plugins that do um, opt-in forms and all kinds of stuff. So they actually pre-install uh, 50, 50 plugins in here for you. I think I think I might have installed, like, maybe I didn't install any of my own. I don't remember. But you get all kinds of plugins, so I'm not going to try to bore you with all the different plugins or anything like that, but you get a lot of plugins. Um, some of them do pop-ups, some of them do, um, you know, opt-in forms, um, do banners, all kinds of stuff, right? Um, some of them you're not going to use because you have Divi, which Divi does a lot of stuff that most WordPress blogs don't do. Like, um, you know, you can add, it already has stuff to add, you know, banners and forms and things like that, right? So you, you're not necessarily going to need all that stuff. So you get all these different plugins that are awesome. 
really awesome. Opt-in Monster, which gives you all kinds of, and I actually installed all of them. I didn't know what, I, <laughs> I installed all these plugins. I just had to go and uninstall some. Um, a social media plugin. This is actually a really cool social media plugin. Let me see if I can get it to work. Um, it gives you this um, sidebar right here. But it also, um, you can set it so that you'll get like a pop-up. Um, so your followers will get like, or I'm sorry, your readers will get a pop-up asking for them to um, share. So I thought that was kind of cool. See that right there? Share this. Share this post with your friends. Um, so that's actually a plugin that I've never even heard of. But it is really, it's very feature rich. And you can do a lot of different things with this plugin as far as that goes. And I know that this was um, not a, a cheap plugin. Like they bought rights to it. So, and then they've also got your, your little follow me buttons here. Um, I, your Instagram feed, you can easily add that with a widget and all that good stuff. So, lots of cool plugins. Pretty Link Pro, which um, I've always used the free. I have not used the one that you pay for. And I'm very excited about this because you can actually, it just gives you more features, obviously, than the free one, but it allows you to, um, you know, forward mask and track your links and all that stuff. So, you get a lot of link tracking so you can keep track of your links. Um, related post, I kept that one. Um, Wistia WordPress plugin. I use Wistia. It's a it's a video hosting. Of course, MLSP has video hosting as well, so you can use that. Um, you don't have to get Wistia. WordPress Facebook Pixels. You can add those. WordPress Opt-in Studio. Um, we've actually been using WordPress Opt-in Studio for a little bit, um, and that actually allows you to have like opt-in forms and stuff like that on your blog. So that's pretty cool too. Um, Spam Shield, we know we need that, right? So we don't get hacked. <laughs> don't worry, if you're hacked, it's MLSP's, it's MLSP's problem, not yours. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. That's one of the good things about having a blog with MLSP. <laughs> you don't have to be in charge of all that. Because trust me, it took me months to get the hacker removed off my blog. Um, anybody that's ever dealt with a hacker, they know it can be very, very um, painful, very painful. Um, so you got like all the theme, theme customizer here. When you come in to set up your blog, and guys, I'm going to go fast because there's going to be, um, I mean, we're going to have lots of time to do this if you're, if you're getting the, th you know, the three-minute expert and you're, we're going to have lots of time to go through all this, but I'm going to kind of go fast here, all right? Um, you have your general settings. Um, you can set up your site identity here. This is where you're going to put your, um, your logo. I actually created my logo on WordPress, or I'm sorry, on PowerPoint, um, just actually I was just playing with it and it just happened to turn out good. I wasn't planning on actually buying one from like Fiverr or something, but it just turned out good. And by the way, you don't have to create this stuff. You can go on Fiverr and have somebody create your banner for you. And that is basically, I have a logo and I have a banner. That's it. That's all I created on this blog so far anyways. Um, so it's not anything too big. This is where you can like adjust your width. Um, you know, you can make it bigger. You can make it stretch it out. Um, I have mine about here and this is where you can um, do your section height so you can make it you know your height larger right there um, I actually don't want that there because it just looks kind of weird because my arms cut off I tried to shrink it and so it would say V up so so when you're setting up a blog just so you know just to give you a, a hot tip your offer should be above um, like it shouldn't be down here. You don't want your offer to be, you know, down here where you can't see it. This shouldn't be down here. So my main offer is, you know, eight free Instagram training videos and cheat sheet for getting 31 K plus followers. Um, and I have right here, get leads to down Instagram. I'll show you how, and then I have a little testimony right here. So I want this to be above the fold, um, right here. Right. And I kind of, you kind of want it to be centered. You want it to be like, boom, they're on the page when they land on the page that, they, that offers right in front of them and that that's it should be an irresistible offer and MLSP has got lots of offers you don't have to go create your offer either by the way MLSP has got a ton of um, campaigns and um, lead capture pages and all kinds of stuff like this stuff is all plug-and-play ready to go for you you don't have to know how to do it you just have to learn how to market and, and from you know get get the word out you know that's all you have to do so that's the really really great thing about this and it and and if you want to, you can create your own because we have all the tools so that you can as well. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, this is where you can change like your, your fonts and all that good stuff. Just so you know, the background, um, I actually, this background was on a PowerPoint. I took a picture of it 
That's what I did. I took a picture of this background and, with Jing, and I put the background on there. That's exactly what I did. I did the same thing with this. I, I The background, it was a PowerPoint template that I used. I liked it, so I put myself on there, and I, and I put some words on there, and I made it. I made it all from scratch. And it, and it really wasn't that hard. So um, let's see here, background position, all that good stuff is there. You can also select a background color. So if you, if you don't want to use um, a background image, you don't have to. I actually have mine tiled horizontally. I could tile the whole thing. I like it so that it kind of makes it look like it's part of the header. So I, I left it like that. Um, let me go back, back here. Uh, let's see here, header and navigation. So you got, you know, header format here. You can say, I didn't do anything with that. I just left it um, the same. So you kind of get an idea. Uh, you can choose your font here. So your fonts will be different. And you've actually got, with this one, you've got a lot. you got a lot of different fonts there. So that's really cool. Um, you can change the t uh, colors, you know, active link colors. And guys, so when I'm when I was doing this, I didn't know what it was going to change. I just started clicking buttons. That's what I did. I was like, okay, this button does this, this button does that. Um, when I start adding drop down menus, I'm sure I'll find out that I want to change this color. So, you know, don't think that you're going to have it, you know, the way you want it right away. Like you're going to notice things, you're going to want to come back here and change them and stuff like that. And that's what I like too. Like I've had my blog done before, but nobody really knows what you really like. You know what I mean? Like I've had a lot of blog designers and what I really liked about setting up my own is I got to pick the colors. I kind of just like created this like as I was going, right? So it wasn't like um, I told a designer what I wanted. I just started creating and started figuring out what I liked and I just started like I said, clicking buttons and playing with colors. And, you know, I went between gray. I went through between red. I was going to do red. And then I was like, no, I like pink because my skirt's pink. You know, so it just it just turned out the way it did because I did that. Um, right here is where you're going to add, like, your, your phone number, your your email address right here, your, um, your social media uh, icons right here. You'll add those as well. And that will actually be, I think, in your settings that you do that. Um, footer uh you're not gonna have to probably i mean this is gonna adjust down here right down here um you can do layout widgets all that stuff i haven't even done anything with that yet i mean you can play with it all, all up to you you can do different columns in here if you want you can have you can put your videos like if you wanted to do testimonial videos you can put those there um i might end up doing that i don't know let's see widgets this is where your widgets are for your footer um you can add widgets here. I'm not going to go into widgets. Widgets are, there's a lot of widgets with this theme. And so that's why I was saying there's a lot you can do. So I'm just going to show you the basic stuff so you can get it started. Um, color schemes. Um, actually, I left it at default. Set above should be applied by the default color scheme. So um, not really much more that you need to really worry about. I mean, you can change the button style in here if you want to. These are the buttons here if you want to change the buttons. I, I like the way the buttons look, so I just left them, actually. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Um, I didn't make any changes, I don't think. Let's go back into the, the dashboard here. And I'm just going to show you the, the pieces of this blog here. I want to show you this page, okay, because that's um, the, the, the landing page. So everything is, it's, this is a different type of blog. Like when I set up my first initial blog, um, the, the blog page already had like the blog on it. Like there was no home page. Like but this one you can create each page. So if you want, like let's say for example, my blog page, okay, I actually had to use the Divi Builder and add the blog to that page. So I made that the blog page and I'll show you how I did that. Okay. So um, here's the Divi builder right here. And when you first initially like open up a page, you'll have to open up and say you want to use like the, def the Divi builder instead of the default. Okay. So select the Divi builder. And um, it's pretty simple. You just add a row and you select your full length here. Okay. And then you just insert modules. And I just inserted the blog. And that's what I did. I, I said, okay. Um, I said, uh, I think I said full width for that one. We'll go back and look at that. But that's basically what you do there. 
And then as far as this, yep, it's full with how many post numbers. Um, I said 10 because that can kind of slow your blog down if you've got like 20 or 30, you know, if you have too many on one page. Um, show featured image. Yes, you do want to have that. Um, that will show the featured images on your blog like this. See? So that will actually show, like, um, when I click on blog, instead of showing, like, the whole post, it's going to show a, the featured image, and it's going to show uh, an excerpt. An ex I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it will show just a little portion of your content. So it makes it more like a magazine style. It makes it clean. It makes it easy for people to find things, which is awesome, and you definitely want that. And that's actually one of the things that I really don't like about my blog is there is no featured image. Do you see? It doesn't automatically do that. I actually had to add my own um, when I would create a, a blog post. So it just is a lot um, cleaner. It looks a lot nicer. I had to add this to the read the rest of this entry. This one does it automatically, which is pretty awesome. Um, read more button. Yes, you want that on um, show page navigation. You know, um, yes, you do want that um, offset. I mean, all these are really not anything you need to worry about. Just this part right here. Yes, featured image. And I think these are all on by default, the more button. Um, so that's basically how I did that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And that actually created that whole page. Now, um, this one, I added a widget bar. So to add a widget bar, by the way, I should have said this earlier. If you want to add a widget bar or text so you can add text, um, I'm sorry, a sidebar, not just a widget bar. <laughs> if you want to be able to add this on the side here so that you have some banners and stuff like that, then you would just, and you should, you know, you should have like a couple of banners or opt-in form. I'll probably put an opt-in form. I was just playing with this one. Um, but you would just go ahead and select, um, you want to do this one right here, two-thirds and then one-third. And then you can add and insert modules and you can put, um, I mean, this has call to actions in it. It has, um, call to action is what I used on my, on my main page. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but you can just do like a code. And then you can put the HTML code in there, or you can use a text box and use the, the uh, you know, text box and use the HTML code. I think I used text box. Yep, I did. So that works as well. So you can totally, like, easily, like, guys, look at all the different columns you can add with this. You know, three right here. Insert modules. You can add blurbs if you want to. I, I honestly don't even know what a blurb is. So <laughs> don't. we'll have to figure that one out together. I've never heard of that one before. Um, let's see here. Insert modules, number counter, um, portfolio. You can put um, slider, video slider in here. You can also just put like a, like a banner. Like, um, for example, I have a slider on my homepage here. So you can create your own custom sliders here. So you have different banners just kind of rotating. And um, you can create those as well. And once I show you guys how to do banners and stuff, you'll be able to create these in no time. Like these will be coming out your ears. You'll be able to do as many as you want. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to edit page. So that's what you get. Images. You put an image in there. Um, image is pretty easy. That's actually my, that's what you're going to use for your banner. So let's go check out that. Um, let's go on over to that page. Everybody doing good? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, Jeff knows a lot about Debbie. Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, and, and actually, Jeff's the one that said that Debbie was the one to use, so let's see here. All right, so let's um, take a look at my home page. This is the page th that looks like, um, let me just X out some of this stuff here. This one right here, home page. All right, cool. So see how it actually comes in and it slides in like that? I'll show you guys how to do that. You can have it slide in. Watch that. See? So it slides in. I think that's so cool. Um, this is that um, call to action page that I was showing you guys or the little um, widget thing that we were looking at earlier. This is that call to action. I put a testimonial next to it. 
Um, this is just a banner. This is an image. So we're going to show you how to do an image box here. And that's it. I mean, it literally formatted it for me. And I can make this wider or I can make it, you know, shrink it like I showed you guys before. I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, it can be as wide as you want. It's Somebody was asking me if you have to measure it. Not with this theme, you don't. You don't have to measure it. Not as far as I can tell. I put different different um, banners in here a couple of times and each time the size was probably a little bit different and it didn't reject it at all it just put it in it looked beautiful when I put it in I didn't have to sit there and have to go back and crop it and resize it and all that bull crap it just fit so that was one of the things that I was very impressed with and I thought it was made it very easy actually to put together because I've worked with other themes before and you have to have the exact pixels or whatever you want to call them and the, the, the banner's got to be the exact or it won't fit. So not with this one at all. It's, it's pretty awesome. So let me just show you the image. You just um, select an image like I was showing you guys before when you do these modules here. You just select, um, you know, image. That's all you do. You select image and then you upload your image. And um, it's it's really that simple. But let me show you the settings that you want. Um, I always put an alternative text so that when people scroll over, it will show a little alternative text. Um, open in Lightbox, no, you don't need to do that. Um, for this one, we don't put a URL because I'm not gonna. People aren't gonna click on it. But if you wanted to put like click here for your offer, it's kind of cool. You could you could put click here, and it will have a. It will just go right to whatever offer you want to send them to. Um, you can have it open in the same window or, or not. You shouldn't. You should have it open in another window. Um, animation, that's where I was showing you how it moves. When, when we load the page, it goes to the right. I had it go from right to left. You can have it go from bottom to top. You can have it fade in or you can have no animation. Um, I think it's kind of cool the way it looks when it goes from right to left. Um, I removed this. I didn't remove the space below the image. I like the background to kind of show through the back, and it. And I also have it so that. Um, oops, wrong blog. So that it scrolls. Um, so that it scrolls really nicely. That background stays the same, but it, it scrolls over it. I think that looks really nice. So um, you go through here, and you can see that advanced advanced design settings. Um, I did I did force the full width on that one. Um, and, I, and I did center image on mobile. So um, it is cool. This is a completely mobile theme. So you can actually see how things look on mobile. So check this out. So I can go, oh, how does it look on an iPad? How does it look on a phone? And actually, I've looked on my phone. It doesn't look exactly like that, but that's pretty much what you can do. It looks a little different. Like, obviously, on the computer, it looks different. You know, it doesn't look exactly. So just keep that in mind. It does look a little bit different. All right. So here's my call to action box. And let me just really quick. Um, there's another, there's another, um, I don't know what you call this. I think, my, what is it? A section. Okay. So there's another section here. And you can also change. This is where you can put your, your background image. Okay. Um, if you want a background image behind, you know, the modules here, behind the page. So you can change the image, um, the background on your, on your home page if you want to. And it can look the same on, you know, other pages, whatever. So you can also play with this as well. You can make your um, background a transparent background color. I, I made mine transparent because I wanted to be able to see the background. Um, keep custom padding on mobile. So there's some settings here as well. Um, to add, you know, rows, you just add another row. So, for example, if I wanted to add another another row of something, you know, I could add or not not insert module. I'm sorry, add another row. Um, I could easily do that. I could say I'm going to add, you know, let's say I wanted to add, um, you know, some videos or I wanted to add, you know, connect with me buttons or something. Okay, whatever I wanted to add, I could put there as well. All right, um, and then right here is that call to action that I have. This is this right here. This is the call to action, and this is the testimony that I have next to it. And so I just, I mean, it's really simple. I mean, you can do advanced design settings if you want to, but I just put a title here. Um, I put the button URL so I know where, um, you know, I put the URL I want it to go to, which is going to my Instagram offer. I have it opening in a new tab because you always want people to stay on your blog for as long as possible. Um, use background color. Yes, I selected the color. It's pink. It matches my blog. And then um, text color. I put the text color as light, so it's white. Um, you know, and I mean, guys, you can actually add uh, video or whatever you want to. You can add stuff here, okay? So you don't have to just be limited to this. You can add whatever you want. I don't recommend it if you're new. Like, I'm new. I
the same font as what's on my blog. You can change the custom colors. You can play around with this guy's this might. This is the, one of the parts that was kind of the padding and stuff is what I was, um, I had to play with it a little bit just to get the padding right so that I could make it even with my, with my testimonial box. So that might be a little bit of playing around with, okay? But um, definitely a cool setting there. And then, you know, you can add testimonies here. So you can add testimonial uh, modules here. And you, I just even left the author out because it just made it look too big and I didn't want it that big. So I put the testimonial here. And um, you can do advanced settings. Once again, you can change all this stuff. All this stuff is completely customizable. It's like click a button. So it's really easy. So today I wanted to add a banner. Um, for the three minute expert because I was like, oh cool banner in the back office. Everybody see that banner in the back office? I was like, I'm adding that to my blog. So I downloaded it and I uploaded it to my blog and I added it here. And I did make this one clickable. So when they do click, it does go to the link URL instead of like on my banner, we didn't do that. But on this one we did. Um, it, and I have it opening in a new tab. I changed the animation from left to right. I didn't remove anything. This is all, I mean, that's all I did. That was it. And then you can see it, it turned out pretty cool. There you go. It's on there now. So that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not a complicated blog. I think people are. But if you want to add more pages, you just click on Add New. Like when I first started, you're going to get a sample page. You're going to get... You know, um, you're going to get a sample blog post. Just delete those and start with a new page. Just add new page and start creating with your Divi Builder. And I, I'm i telling you, it's not that hard. In fact, I know like um, some of you already have blog headers. I'm sure you could just take the blog header that you have on your other blog and just put it up here. It's it's that easy. So let's um, see what kind of questions we got going on here. And um, actually, we're doing really good on timing. I went by, I went through that pretty quick. So um, thanks, still learning, but you can do quite a bit with PowerPoint, yes. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I use PowerPoint. Um, no, it's not the, I did use the Mac version of PowerPoint. Um, I have PowerPoint on my Mac and I have PowerPoint on my, on my uh, Windows. I know Mac PowerPoint has a little different, I, I, the fonts are different on that one, but for the most part you can do um, the same thing. So it's not too much different. So let's see here, um, what is the name of my site? It is workwithaprilmarie.com. That is the name of my site, um, if that's what you're asking, Paul. All right, I have recently created a non-MLSP blog unpublished. I decided to wait for sites after I heard about it. Anyway, I did purchase Optimized Press for it. Do you know if I'll be able to use Optimized Press on sites also? No, you will only be able to use the themes that are here. Um, I don't think they're gonna do that right now, uh, right now at least, we're in beta. I would personally, Keep Optimized Press because you can use it to do other stuff like create uh, capture pages and stuff like that. Um, I would, if you don't have a blog on it yet, um, you could set up, an, I mean, Jeff's got like, I don't know how many blogs Jeff has, but he's got a lot. You could have as many blogs as you want. I would just maybe use it for a different blog, you know, that's what I'm doing. So it's not too hard. So guys, anybody else have any questions? Who shares the salad? Cliff, stop it. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is funny. Uh, what was the name of the share plugin again? Um, it's in your back office. It's called Monarch. Monarch is what it's called. Um, that's a good one. It's, it's already there. It's pre-installed on your blog. Guys, all the plugins I showed you are already included, pre-installed on your blog. So you don't have to install that stuff. It's already there. So you don't have to go searching and trying to find all these all these um, you know plugins. Are there opt-in forms for the blogs? Um, yes, yes. I don't have any on mine yet. <laughs> I haven't figured that part out. Um, it, I mean, I it's opt-in monster. There's that, and then there's um, also a plugin MLSP uses. So I will be going through the training to actually put that stuff on because I don't know anything about that yet, but soon I will. So. Um, yeah, all that stuff's included. You get opt-in forms, you get pop-ups, all the cool, fancy tools that, um, you know, will are lead magnets or that are lead magnets and will help you get leads. So also, too, all the campaigns, 
apparently they plug right in with all this stuff. So it's easy to just plug your campaign, whatever it is that you want to use, right into your blog. So that's going to be real fun once we get that set up too. And I'll be setting that up actually in the next few days. I'll just be put, starting to put my lead magnets on so I can start capturing leads with pop-ups and all kinds of stuff. So pretty awesome. What is the Mac version of PowerPoint? Oh, what's the Mac version? Okay. I don't know. Um, but I use, you can get PowerPoint for Mac. I have Mac PowerPoint. It's uh, Windows uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So I just bought Microsoft PowerPoint and put it on my Mac. I don't even know. Um, I, Mac does have one. I don't remember what it's called, though. Any Mac users on tonight that know? I have it. It's pre-installed on my computer, on my Mac, on my computer, on my Mac, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Keynote. Uh, is that Keynote? All right, yeah, but I see that stuff Divi can do. She answered my question with animation. Yes, so cool, right? W was on PowerPoint. All right, cool. Okay, it's Keynote. All right, cool. Yeah, so I actually, I've tried it using it before. I actually like PowerPoint better, so that's why I use PowerPoint. So, um, does anybody else have any questions about anything? Everybody's pretty much set. They know, um, guys, this is offer. It's going away. Um, it will be gone Wednesday night. So, this is your chance to get MLSP sites, MLSP mastery, all in one. Um, by the way, all the ultimate blog bundle, the, the course that's inside that blog bundle, sells for $500. So, you're getting it for $297. Um, if you want to go ahead and scoop that up, if you haven't already, I haven't even um, checked to see if anybody has or not yet. Um, just go ahead and scoop that up here, and let's let's go out there and share this. I mean, this is pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to running with a lot of you that are already on board um, and sharing everything that we're learning together as a team because it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic as we're as we're going through and we're learning this stuff together. As you can see I've already started and so have a lot of other people on our team. Actually at, uh, April and Matt Finley already have their blog completely set up. Um, I'd be interested to know I think Amanda who's on hers is up. I know that. If Amanda you want to go ahead and share your that would be awesome. If she's still on I don't think she is. So pretty cool. Guys, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Awesome. So did that answer everybody's questions tonight? We're good? We're good to go? Gotta speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm going to put a bat in here because we're weird. <laughs> Hello. That was okay. Peek. All right, cool. I share salads, Cliff. I share them. <laughs> all right. So I think everybody's all set. I don't think there's that much of a lag. I'll give it another few minutes and see if anybody has anything else to say. Oops. Frozen. Anyone or just me? Oh, great. I'm frozen. Am I really frozen? Uh-oh. Hang on. Let me see if I can refresh. Uh-oh, I lost my... All right, are we better now? Better? Good? Good? I know, isn't it great? So does anybody else have any more questions or anything that you'd like me to show you? Hey, Jess, how's it going? I am back. Awesome. So, so I was asking if anybody had any questions, but apparently I was frozen. So, just before I head off, I just want to make sure everybody's got their answers and are ready to rock and roll and do this thing. By the way, I will give you one more thing that um, if you guys want to see the replay from last week, I will put that in the chat as well. You can go ahead and watch the the replay from last week. And that will give you a lot of um, a lot of uh, details 
as far as um, what's going on and all that stuff. All right. So, um, all right, cool. So you can watch the replay there. I froze again, are you serious? Shoot. Great. There, okay, so after the 297 are there monthly costs? Yes, you will get a monthly charge. Um, you can either do the $49 membership or you can do the mastery membership for $149. Um, if you are wondering about what's included with mastery, um, I'm still froze. What? Still? Still frozen? Yes or no? All right, can you guys see me now? You guys can see me? Well, this is very bizarre. Um. I. You guys see me now? Try to turn off my video. Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hear me, hear me, hear me. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 